I'm pretty sure that the police would have been super onto me right now because I'm so obvious, really, sprinting across the lawn with leather gloves and leather jacket and very suspicious look on my face. I'm sure they certainly would have staked out the place or at the very least put some tabs on me or tabs on the place itself. Hello reformers and welcome back to Thief Simulator. I thought I'd start here because uh, I don't know whether you can see but my uh, my leg or uh, legs are just about to get out of the car but amusingly enough I actually want to sleep so I don't exactly know what's going on there but I love it because these kinds of bugs, glitches, whatever you want to call it are what make simulator games really fun and uh, unexpected, shall we say. Anyway, I'm going to sleep until 8 a.m. right here because I do want to go and break the window on the second floor of the... Uh, is it the Wilsons? I don't I don't really know, but it's 107. Yeah, the Wilsons. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get in there as quickly as we can. I don't mind running. I don't mind running. I think uh, running is, is pretty healthy for us. Especially considering uh, the cops are probably going to be after us pretty soon. So let's see if I can... I don't have the uh, the thing yet to get in through windows, do I? So I'm just going to have to use my auto lock pick, which is perfectly fine with me. I think that that is a fantastic tool, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and be as stealthy as possible. What what's actually going on here? I can't get in because of this little step. Are you serious? Come on now. All right. So I'm gonna try and see if I can well, steal some rather expensive swag. And, uh, well, yes, bear in mind that uh, the game is actually going to be updated relatively soon. So you will be able to put small items in your car. So you can take a big item, and I don't know I don't know how many small items you can take just yet, but apparently you can take a few, I suppose. Otherwise, I'm just going to take a couple of things here. And we do want to go on the second floor and break the window. I'm not going to be breaking the window just yet because I would like to be able to steal some more stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good old guitar right there and let's see. Wait a minute. Wasn't did someone see me just now? Well, damaged you phone, that's mine. Thank you. Give me the mouse. There is a painting. An alarm clock. I've got to make sure that I'm not staying here too long and I should probably crouch a little bit. Let's open this up. Ah, there's a small TV right there, but I don't really need to take that at the moment. Even though it would be kind of an idea to do it. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to break this. There we go. Request has been done, and I'm going to see if there's anything else in here. What is that? Is that... Is that oh, it's, it's detergent or something, isn't it? All right, so yeah, we don't, we don't really want to take detergent. I think we can pretty much easily get our own, so we don't want that. Uh... I think we're full. Yeah, I think my bag is now full, so I will be taking the printer because I want to print my own money. What? That's not how it works? Oh. Well, I guess I'll just get a 3D printer then. I hear you can get those for a relatively cheap price nowadays. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... I guess I'm going to go out the front because I can't really get the printer over the fence, can I? Hello, people. I'm trespassing. Nope. Okay. Apparently I'm trespassing if someone sees me from this direction because the gate is closed, I guess. Oh, whoa. Okay, that guy that guy is some kind of super sleuth, isn't he? Look at that. What a crazy man. All right. Well, thankfully we have pretty much the run of the area now. Oh no. 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 Yes. There we go. Open it. Quickly, let's get out of here. There we go. My car is right over there. I've closed it, and the resident should be back relatively soon. That was pretty tense, considering this is not exactly a difficult mission. I mean, I guess I could have just gone in there and broken the window pretty quickly, but I'm doing something shady. No, I'm not. Do you mind? I'm just carrying my money printer. Well, it's not really a money. Well, it kind of. It, it kind of is a money printer, actually, considering I'm going to sell it for some cash. But uh, yeah. Oh. Is he really? Are you serious? Oh, look, there's the resident. That is hilarious. Wow. Very close. I actually think that she's probably going to see the window relatively soon. I'm putting a printer into my car. It's not shady at all. Get out of here. Oh, well. Yes, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much. 
So let's just not back over the other people on the street, because we don't really want to be a murderer, do we? No, not at all. We're happy to steal some printers and maybe some pictures of daisies, but uh, yeah, I, I'd rather I'd rather leave the murdering to my uh, less savoury or more unsavoury? Hmm, well, either way, I'd rather leave it to them. So, let's go and uh, see what we're going to get. Wow, we actually got a huge amount of experience right there. That's really, really nice. And that is a uh, an S rating as well. Okay, so, let's see what this printer is going to get us. Hopefully it's going to print money. Yeah, hopefully it is. It's going to give us, I don't know, I I'm hopeful that it will give us 200 or something like that. And, uh, let's see... 400. Wow. Okay, that's fantastic. That is really, really nice. I know that a lot of you said that it would be a good idea to go to Black Bay before you go to the before you go to the shop here, and I'm gonna do that. But personally, I feel like it's not maybe worth the effort because generally I'm gonna go be going home and then I'm gonna check Black Bay and if there's nothing there, then obviously it's a bit of a waste of time. But we're gonna see if there's actually something here. No, there are car parts now. That's a damaged UFO for 40, uh, 44, 88. Yeah, I think I could have sold it for 44 at the shop, so that wouldn't have been too much of a loss. And it seems like everything else is not here. So there is a radio, a microwave. Probably should try and steal a microwave next time. Let's actually take a look at our computer here and see if we have something more to go for. Uh, yeah, okay, so we just have this, which is break or steal the painting. I'm not really... You know, not really interested in doing that so much. And we have leveled up as well, so do bear that in mind. Let's go into our skills real quick and actually do that. Let's get appraisal level one. I guess. There we go. Appraise more items on the spot. I actually don't even know what that does. I know that there's a little bit of a readout when you are looking at items and everything. And I suppose it just gives you an idea as to how much experience you're going to get. And maybe how much money as well. But anyway, let's sell all this. There we go. Now we have 1,900, and I think we're we're well on our way to getting the appraisal level two required for the next stage of the story. All right, so we're trying to get into the residence right here, where there is someone home. So this is going to be. Uh, I closed the door a little bit loudly. That was not good, but there is a speaker here, which is pretty good. And um, maybe we can get something else as well. Flower vase. Let's let's get the flower vase. I think we can sell that on Black Bay actually. And there are a couple of paintings as well. Bear in mind that this is uh, just a, a freelance, well not freelance, but a free roam job that I'm doing here. I'm not actually employed by anyone to do this right now. So I guess I'm just going to steal a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just trying to get next level basically. So if I can steal as much as possible. Oh, there we go. I found a phone as well, and uh, I do have to be a little bit cautious here because, of course... Oh, never mind. She's sleeping. All right. Well, that's fine. The, the other person is going to be coming home soon. I actually wonder whether I can steal anything in here, like this huge dinosaur. That would be... Uh, I think that's probably going to sell for a huge amount. Let's face it. Anyway, I'm going to take the globe and the goblet. I have so much space in my bag right now. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... Hmm, I'm actually wondering, can I steal this car? I know that you can steal cars in this game, but uh, maybe I don't have the proficiency for that just yet. So let me just go in here and maybe maybe I can? Okay, I need to sneak around a little bit more. Ah, okay, so yeah, you need a car lockpick gun to be able to get in there, but uh, unfortunately I do not have that at the moment, of course, so I will be leaving the premises. I think I'm probably gonna get close to level with this, not going to fully level I don't think, but uh, almost. And the landline does not sell for that much, but this might. So, oh no wait, should, what, what should I take? I have no idea. Should I take the painting? Or should I take the speaker or the TV? Oh no. Oh, that, uh, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Okay, I, you know what? I'll just take this one. Okay, there we go. I, it, it does it matter about size? Uh, this is twenty dollars apparently. And what's this? Does not say. Okay, so I assume this one's probably going to be a bit more expensive. You know, I'm just literally going to leave the door open because I I, I don't think anyone's going to be home very soon. There doesn't seem to be anyone patrolling around outside, so I think we're pretty good. Not too bad. And we do have a lighthouse, so it will light our path along the way back to our house. Ugh. Wow. 
That's, that's a little bit too much imagery for my liking. All right, so we got another S rating right there. And uh, yeah, apparently you get uh, 10 times experience for certain things. I guess they might be because they're new, you know, because they're new items that you're stealing. That's pretty cool. I like that. So we just need to keep up our variety. So I have returned here because I seem to remember, yes, that there is a golden goblet right there as well as a candle holder. We can sell those for huge amounts of cash, which is really nice. And is there anything else? No, it seems like there's nothing else, but that is perfectly fine. Okay, so we need a tear trophy. Never seen that before. And candle holder triple. That's wow, that's kind of that's kind of impressive. Okay, so otherwise I think we're pretty good. And we're gonna go over to our store. Look at that. We're at 217 out of 406, so we're almost well, we're basically halfway. All right, so we are going under the cover of darkness once again to 112 or 112, and we are going to try and steal a pricey coffee machine because we certainly love those beans, don't we? Yes, we definitely need that that dark, rich taste of well, whatever coffee beans, you know, whatever coffee beans you want from Kilimanjaro or wherever. And uh, yes, we are now going to. Oh, the back door has an easy lock. Well, that's very nice to know. Otherwise, uh, yeah, these people are both out at 1 a.m. I have no idea why they would be, but maybe they work the night shift. Who knows? Okay, so let me see if I can make my... Nope, I don't want tips, thanks. I would like my flashlight. Okay, weirdly enough, the flashlight is now on F. I think I thought it was on T for some reason, but maybe that was another game. Anyway, uh, huh. You know what? It seems like... It seems like I, I kind of need to to rush a little bit because I'm I'm not going ah here we go not going the right way for the moment okay so this has an easy lock so we should be able to get in very nicely nope 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 yep there we go all right okay so there is actually someone over there so we need to be a bit careful and uh, I guess I could turn this on for the moment Ooh, there's a camera give me that oh yes and I think, it does the coffee machine actually go in my bag? Yes, it does. Oh, yes, that's exactly what we like. Should I take some of the capsules as well? I mean, if I'm going to, ah, oh, well, I'm probably not going to use it, let's face it. Oh, someone thinks I'm trespassing because of the, the flashlight that's on. Okay, so I'm going to carry this, uh, I, I guess, kind of close to the door. Because I don't want to leave just yet, but I would like to go soon. And let me see if there's anything else in here. Nope. I'm going to try and make sure that everything is as we left it, or as they left it, and uh, hopefully that will prevent us from being detected. I'm a bit worried about them returning, to be honest. Oh, another golden goblet. I don't think that's going to get us too much, but all right, I guess it's okay. And what's that? Uh, there's a remote, small TV... Yeah, no, okay, no, bear in mind that I can't take too long, I mean, you know, it's, it's, we've got a good amount of time, but not unlimited, do bear that in mind, you know, it's gonna be kinda bad if someone finds me in here, so, let's see, uh, oh, is that, is that it, really, I guess, I guess I'll just take the toaster then, and, uh, I'll just get out of here, I suppose, that's, that was it, really? Huh, I'm a bit uh, a bit dubious about that, a bit suspicious, even though I'm the thief here. Technically, I would have assumed that they would have more in here. I mean, they have two washing machines, or they have a washer and a dryer at least, but still. I would have thought that maybe I could get one of those and uh, just lug it out of there, because, let's face it, we are the strength that humanity needs. <laughs> yes, great. Okay, so I do have this painting here, but unfortunately there is someone... No, I'm not crouching in a weird place. I'm just standing here, wearing leather gloves, prepared to steal your... Uh, no, I'm not that fast. I was going to be like, yes, I'm going to crouch behind him and then, you know, pickpocket him Elder Scrolls style. But no, no, that's, uh, that's not going to work. All right, I guess I'll be making my way out of here back to my car. Well, it looks like this woman was a little bit suspicious of us, but, uh, well, who wouldn't be carrying around a huge painting in the middle of the night? Yeah, exactly. But the cool thing is that it seems like the residents of 112 have returned, or at least I think they have returned, and they don't seem to be 
reacting to my presence at all, even though I technically did. Did I leave the door open, actually? I think I may have left the door open. Well, whatever the case, they don't seem to be calling the cops. Maybe maybe they're criminals too. Who knows? Maybe you know, maybe they uh maybe they have something to hide. And that makes me that makes me a little bit uh Huh, a little bit antsy, a little bit nervous, because you never know. Maybe maybe those guys really do have some kind of secret, and I, I missed it. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I suppose that's just how it is. I guess we'll go home and check on Black Bay first, and then we will make our way over to the shop. There we go. We got some more experience, another 150, and we're very close to level 12, which is going to give us appraisal level 2. So that's pretty nice. Otherwise, let's have a look here. I personally don't think I have anything new. Old toaster? I, I Didn't I pick up the old Oh, I think I picked up a new toaster. <laughs> or something like that, at least. Okay, so are there any other places where I can... Oh, possible loot location, 112? Uh, of course. There's a safe with jewelry. Oh, that would have been awesome. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have that. What about that? Oh, there's a safe with jewelry. Okay, so these these places are going to be definitely a place that we're going to go and return to. Let me just take a quick look at our items. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need... I'm going to need jewelry tools, aren't I? So let's go over to the shop here. Jewelry tools, 2,600. Are you serious? I have 2,400. Ah, well, okay. I'm going to be back when we have another 200. All right, so I've placed the painting over here by the shop, and it sells for 70. Yeah, it sells for 70. All right, well, I suppose that's fine, considering we did get 150 for completion of the job itself. The coffee machine, as I thought, is going to sell for a huge amount, as well as the golden gobbler, the remote, and the toaster. Not too bad. We now have 2,884. And, uh, well... You can imagine what we're gonna do. Alright, so the cover of darkness is once again our ally, and I am going to be attempting to enter 112 once again. Yes, a repeat burglary. I'm pretty sure that the police would have been super onto me right now, because I'm so obvious, really, sprinting across the lawn with leather gloves and leather jacket and very suspicious look on my face. I'm sure they certainly would have staked out the place, or at the very least put some tabs on me, or tabs on the place itself, and they would probably already have caught me by now. But, as it stands, I would like to try and get into the safe, and we do have a little bit of time to be able to do that. Oh yeah, here we go, let's do it. And there we have it. Nice. Okay, I had to do a little bit of concentration there because I didn't want to mess up. And we're going to see what they have in here. All right. So, ooh, look at that. We've got a bracelet. Very nice. And uh, I think that's it. Let me just... Yeah, okay. I just wanted to turn on my flashlight real quick just to be like, oh, is, is that it? Is that is that all that's in there? Yeah, so I just have to make sure a little bit. Okay. Anything else? No, it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Ah. There is an alarm clock. I guess I'll take that just for prosperity's sake, considering, you know, we need a little bit of extra experience here and there, and... Ooh, we got some wine. Very nice. I think that could actually sell for a pretty decent amount. Chess. All right, I'll take that. Why not? I have the space for it. Ooh, a tear trophy. Uh, yes, we know Black Bay wants the tear trophy, don't we? Uh, the yellow vase here. Uh... What else do we have? Oh, gray vase. Oh, my inventory's full. Ah, are you serious? That's terrible. Okay, well, unfortunate, but I guess that's it. Let's uh, let's exit, and we're done. And uh, I don't really need to. Yeah, I'm trespassing. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just. Uh, <laughs> oh, these civilians. It's it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny to come out of uh, a residence and be like, yes, it's me. It's me, your neighbor, Mister uh, Mister Crowley. And, uh, and then, and then, and then she's like, what? No, it's, uh, I can't even remember the name of the people that I just robbed. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Uh, that is absolutely awful. I'm no gentleman thief. I'm some imposter. Oh, well, never mind. I guess we'll go back over to, uh, to our house first, and then we will go over to the, to the shop again. And, uh, I think that's probably our next level, and we can then break down the jewelry with 
uh, newly acquired jewelry tool kit thing. And there we go, look at that. The bracelet gave us 350 experience literally by itself, and our thief rating is 537. I don't even know whether that's actually any good, but it sounds good anyway. So we're now level 13, because we leveled up twice from that, which is pretty crazy, and I guess we'll get this, and then we need to... Oh, but apparently we don't need to get anything else, but I would like to maybe save this skill point for electronics level 1, because then we can remove security from devices using hacking tools, and we can disable power switches as well. Or I could go for something like removing car parts and steal cars without alarms. That sounds like a pretty good idea as well. So I'm going to just, as I said, save that skill point. And Vinny has something to say to us now that we've learnt Appraisal Level 2. Greenview 107 don't like our protection plan. I hope nothing happens to the jewellery in their bedroom. Ah, well there we go. Okay, so we've got to go and steal some more jewellery. I'm perfectly happy to do that. But first, I'm going to sell a couple of the things that I have here. I was hopeful that I might have taken some more of the vases that were required by Black Bay, but apparently not. Ooh, look at this. We have now unlocked the next couple of houses. And these houses are very affluent. They have extremely big houses. Seems like a very sort of rich area, so it would be very nice for us to try and, well lift some things from their possession. Uh, yes, okay, so anyway, let's go for Tools for Thieves as I am going to be buying the jewelry tools. There we go. And how much money do I have left? I don't think I have that much. 347. That's not going to be enough for the tenant routines, unfortunately, but I do know that there are, well, thanks to Vinny, that there is definitely some jewelry in uh, 107, so that's hopefully going to be a good idea. I'm not actually going to buy anything else for these two until I can afford the tenant routines. I could obviously do my surveillance myself, but I don't trust myself to do that accurately enough. So anyway, seems like we have a tutorial here. Jewelry tools allows you to dis disassemble jewelry before selling it. That's it? Oh, okay, that's it. Well, thanks for letting me know. Okay, I, I guess... Uh, do I need to... I actually do need to do something here. Ah, interesting. Oh, that's awesome. I like this. I actually like this little bit. Oh, well, there we go. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, it just took a little bit of time for us to do that. And now that we have the jewelry available for us to sell, we are going to go to the shop and see just how much we're going to get from it. Because obviously I haven't ever sold jewelry before, so this is going to be kind of interesting. And hopefully we'll be able to get the extra jewelry from 107 too once we do that. Wow. It sells for 800. That's pretty crazy. That will mean that I will be able to get the other tenant routines, I think. That is amazing. That is really, really amazing. Anyway, I uh, think that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.